Oh my gosh, look at these lamps. This is such a cool idea. Hello, how are you? Happy to have you back. Seriously, anyone who ever again mentions to me a beauty tutorial is easy to make, I will slap you. This is hard. No. I did not expect this at all. I was thinking, oh, you just record a video, which was quite fast. Like I'm making the blow dry tutorial for you, for you guys. And the filming was quite easy, but like editing it and making a voiceover and telling everything correctly because it's all about the details. Because if you don't spray these little hairs, they will get frizzy. And I have to tell you that it's, it's hard, man. And it takes a lot of time. So I've been doing that, but now I'm really hungry and I want to take you somewhere today. I want to go to the Folks Hotel. I've been hearing so many good stories about it. And also one of you guys mentioned it in the comments as the next location I should go. So yeah, let's have lunch first and then we're going to the Folks Hotel. Ooh, I just saw this mango on the counter and I'm going to eat that one first. Yeah, juicy sunny mango. Lunch. So this is leftover legumes from yesterday. Spinach and egg brown finial. Fixed my hair again. I did something wrong, and then you see like the devil's in the details because I forgot to rinse just half of the conditioner the last time I just I blow dried my hair, and I rinsed everything out, and my hair is so much drier. And I was like, what is wrong with my hair? And I knew when I started blow drying, I was thinking like. Oh snap, I forgot to, to, you know, rinse just half of the conditioner and I rinsed everything. And this week my hair is so much more like rebellious. So the next time I wash my hair, I will definitely not forget to just rinse half of the conditioner and leave the other half in my hair because it makes a world of difference. There we go, Folks Hotel. It does look very crowded though. No wonder, it's a Friday afternoon, so everybody's probably having drinks, but still. Let's check out if there's a place where I can work for a little bit. Yeah. Okay. This side. And then. Okay, there's a hairdresser here. Um, let me see if there's. Ah, oh, this is a nice place to work. I like this. Oh my gosh, look at these lamps. This is such a cool idea. So it's a hotel, Folks Hotel. And. Yeah, it looks really cool. And I thought it was crazy busy, but it's actually all right. Ooh, look at the piano in the corner. Unfortunately, after you order at the bar, they don't do table service. But, um, ooh, vegan bar. They have good stuff, cakes and stuff. Ah, look at all these cameras. Ooh, carrot cake. Oh no, that's red velvet. But I'm craving carrot cake right now. Oh snap, this is really cozy. Wow, look at all the couches over there, just the fields and stuff. Oh, in this sitting area. It's so cute and cozy. Oh my gosh. I didn't even see this. They just put a trailer in the hotel. <gasps> it's a decorative trailer. Oh no, it's starting to rain. Damn it, my hair. Why? Anyways, the, um, this was really, really, really cool. I wish I could have stayed longer, but I have to be get back home and change because I'm finally going to a yoga class from Martijn Hoogstra. He is the yoga teacher recommended by uh, the yoga teacher in Shanghai. And I definitely want to try out a yoga class from him. I already did yoga this morning, but hey, two yoga classes in one day. I did it for one month, so should be able to handle, right? Okay, it's really starting to rain. I'm gonna put you like warm into my pocket. All right, changed into yoga gear let's go the weather is horrible it's raining it's windy it's cold my tire is like my my bicycle tire is soft so it's really hard to you know move forward okay luckily it's yoga and then i can relax me me it's 9 20 i just got home the weather is crazy actually i should say i just got home from frozen disney didn't get the memo i don't want to play anna it's like, it's too cold for me. Disney, I don't want to play Anna. Stop freezing me and stop hating on my hair. This Dutch weather just hates on my hair. <laughs> but anyways, I want to eat something, but it's 9.20. It's quite late to eat something, right? Mm, I will check the fridge later. Oh, by the way, about the yoga class. 
because I obviously couldn't film there, I obviously couldn't film outside. You know what? I am one hell of a spoiled girl because of Saji's classes, because I don't know if I'm gonna ever find a teacher that suits me so well. Um, this was a good class, like some, uh, some parts were really hard and other parts were too easy for me, so it was quite like, it was all the feels, man. At, at one point I was like, how do I do this? Why can't I do this? I'm a yoga teacher. And, it, and then five minutes later I was like, this is too easy. I need more challenge, you know? So it was like all the feels during the class also, which is your ego, yada, yada, yada. Um, I don't know, I'm just spoiled. I really like Saji style and, uh, but it's still nice to try new things and just realize you're happy with what you have, right? Okay. So, time for food now. So this is the meal, it's already 10 p.m. Way too late to eat pasta, but I just couldn't go to bed without eating anything. So this is whole wheat pasta. It's spelled, yes, um, in Dutch. I don't know how you call it in English. I think it's spelled as well, right? So, a um, it's just a simple tomato sauce with some onions and uh, Italian um, seasoning. Corn, of course, and some olives. I don't have any cheese, but yeah, this will have to do. Let me just try it. It's okay. You, you cannot wake me up for this pasta. All right, I'm off to bed. Thank you for spending time with me. I love you. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Bye. I just can't. Look at this cool marble table. This is really cool.